Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and in this video I have some shoes to show you. So not only is this a haul video, it is an, un an unboxing and it's also a sale. So usually almost every video that you see I sell what I'm showing you. So this video is no different. Um, we have a thread up 15 pair shoe rescue box that I'll be opening from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And I also have a ton of shoes that I've thrifted over here that I'm going to share with you. Um, actually, I have to get another bag over there. Um, so we're gonna go over everything together and if you see anything that you like, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always down in the description box. Um, the prices that you hear are not including shipping. That's based on your location and the weight of the items. Um, just give me a timestamp and a brief description of the items that you're interested in. Um, I accept PayPal and payment is due immediate. Um, I do hold things for the current week, so if you would like me to hold your items to save on shipping, to shop all my videos throughout the week, just let me know in the email and I will invoice you for just the items and hold off on hold off on shipping and charging shipping. And then I do that usually Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday, depending on how busy I am. Um, so that's that. And before I even start, let me go grab that other bag and I will be right back. So the shoes that you're going to see, um, I guess I can kind of go through um, each one and let you know where I got it. Uh, the majority of the prices are still on it, so you'll get to see how much I pay for my shoes. Um, also, shoes are, I guess I would say they're my favorite things to resell. Purses and shoes are, you know, pretty close. Um, so I like to sell shoes because it's a lot easier than selling clothes where people have to try them on. For the most part, shoes are pretty close to the same sizing, you know, going brand from brand so it's a lot easier for people to buy shoes online than it is to buy clothing online um so i and I, the prices are great you can flip a pair of shoes for three or four times your money and it's quick and easy and i have really good luck doing it so and i can find them in all my local thrift stores unlike jewelry where none of my local thrift stores sell jewelry so it's a real struggle with that all right well, let's get started and show you guys a pair. These are, okay, so I got these at, if you guys remember when I used to work at the cancer doctor's office about 40 minutes south of where I live, there is a local thrift store that benefits the animals of that town. Um, and I go there still when I get my nails done because I get my nails down there, done down there as well. Um, so this is from that thrift store and these are just some SAS, um, kind of like an orthopedic sandal. This brand, it does all right. Um, I picked them up because they are in really good condition. They're just a little dirty on the, on the bottom. I have sold this brand before and it does pretty well. Um, these are a tripod comfort made in the USA with leather and everything is adjustable. Oh, don't mind my broken nail. Um, if you if you happen to see it, eee, sorry. So these um, were seven bucks, and like I said, they're in really nice condition. And if I can find a size, if anyone's interested, size eight. So now I also talk about the fact that I list sandals all year round. I list boots all year round because <clears throat> my eBay store is international. So even, even within the US, you can have, you know, it's snowing, well, it's not snowing right now, but there's snow outside, it's 30 degrees here in New York, but over in California or Texas or whatever, it's a lot warmer. Um, so not everyone is experiencing the same weather as you are, so keep that in mind. I actually sold a pair of Eileen Fisher wedge sandals open toe sandals what's today tuesday on friday they shipped out saturday so it's january and i'm selling sandals so people could be going on vacation to tropical places you know you never know don't count it out um 
I would list these around probably 30 to 35, maybe more. I have to check comps, but if anybody were, is interested, I would do 25 on these. And remember, my subscribers get discounted pricing, um, so keep that in mind. I always let you guys have the deals first before listing them. And then I have, so these I also found at the same thrift store, and these are Coach. They are really nice black leather strappy heel sandals. The heels are in really great condition. Um, everything's really nice. They just need a nice uh, wipe down with some Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam and they will look amazing. Um, I paid $10. Bottoms are really nice. They do have a little bit of heel drag, but other than that, we're good. They're a size 10. Um, and list, oh, yeah, size 10. They even have the name, the style name, which is Kendra. So that's really important for putting into your title listing for your, your title description title for your listing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I would list these around probably 40 to 45. And if anybody was interested, I would sell them to you through this video for 35. Okay, these I found at my local Goodwill, which their shoes are all right. They, you know, I don't mind buying shoes from them. They have pretty good ones most of the time. Um, the only thing that stinks is that they start their shoe pricing at $9.99. I mean, it could be a pair of Old Navy flip-flops and they'll put $9.99 on them. So that's the only thing that stinks. Not that I would buy Old Navy flip-flops, but you know, sandals, flip-flops are like kind of out of the question there because $10 is ridiculous. So these are Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers is a very good brand and it, it's pretty good resale too. These are really cute, like kind of like the Sperry or like the duck boots, you know? Um, they are a bigger size though, and I'm shocked they didn't mark these up. I only paid $9.99 for them, and they're in really nice condition. I'll probably clean up the bottoms a little bit, but other than that, like even the insides are really nice. Um, these are a size 11, and I can probably get around 50 bucks online for these, um, and I would do 40 for you guys. All right, let me, okay, here's another pair that I got at the thrift store down where I used to work. Um, these, I saw them on the shelf and I immediately grabbed them. They look like quality. They look, they, they looked like they were in really nice condition and they're Lucky Brand. I, Lucky Brand's a really great brand to sell. It's very popular. It's extremely expensive in stores. So people definitely look for it used. Um, they're in really nice condition. I paid eight bucks. And these are a size, seven and a half, which I can actually fit into, but I'm not going to keep them. Um, I would ask probably 40 online, 35 to 40, and I would do uh, 25 for you guys. Uh, nope, that's not that one. Okay, these I found at my local Goodwill. Let me just fix up the buckle a little bit. Oh, of course, the little um, piece came out that goes in the hole. All right, well, you'll get the idea. So I got these. These are brand new. They are the brand Blowfish, which I never thought sells for a lot, but um, new, this brand is pretty expensive. And I'm not gonna fix the other one, I'm not gonna, but there's the other one. And I'm shocked these weren't marked up, so I paid $10, brand new. They are faux leather though, they're really cute. They have the inner zipper. Um, they have a really cute pattern on the inside. Now, what size were you? 
size 10, okay, size 10. Really, they look small. That's really, they look, these will make you look, your foot look small. Look how cute that is. So size 10, right? Yeah, blowfish boot. Um, I can probably ask 45 to 50 on these, um, and I would do 35 for you guys. All right, then I'm trying to get all, all the same store together. Where, where did I get these? Oh, these were savers. Okay, so now let's go to All right, so um, there is another local thrift store by me. It's a church thrift store, but it's only open on Saturdays from, I think, 9 to 12. And they're cash only, which I never have cash. So, um, and they close at 12 o'clock, so that's really hard for me to get there. And plus, I always forget about it. Um, their, their stuff's decent. Uh, their clothing, no, because everything is very out of date worn, you know, not stylish. Um, shoes, pretty pretty okay shoes. I have found some purses in there that are pretty nice and their hard goods section is pretty good. They do have jewelry, but it's behind the counter and I always hate looking at jewelry behind the counter because, you know, the person's watching you and I feel under pressure. So, anywho, I got these there. These are, so you're not going to really be able to tell maybe they are a green ugh they need to be wiped down um but they are really nice and suede is super hard to look nice on camera so i mean it looks kind of dingy but they're in nice condition they have the <laughs> they have the um you know little zipper here they have a cute little tie on the back if these were black I would have kept them because they're my size. I think they were an eight, right? Yeah, they're an eight. Really nice condition. I paid 10 bucks. So these are super nice. The heel is probably two and a half to three inches. But, you know, really nice traction on it. Really nice condition. I'd probably get around 50 for these, maybe more online, and I would do 40 for you guys. Such a good deal on Ugg boots. Then, these I might have to put up a price on the screen because I'm unfamiliar with um, Birkenstocks like these, but I got these there too. They were, I mean, they're so dusty, so please excuse that. They were underneath they were on a, a shoe rack, but all the way on the bottom. So like everything was on top of it and it's there. I got to clean them, but I believe they're brand new. All right. And I've never seen this style. It's like a really cute little loafer, black suede, and it's a size eight, which is also my size, but they're not really my style. See, I mean, they look so new. I'm going to say they're new. I don't see any signs of wear. There's no, you know, scuffing or anything like they were worn. Maybe once to try on. But yeah, so size 8. Um, and I'm going to put a price on the screen after I research these because I have not researched them yet. Um, so I will let you know a price on those. Um, okay, so that's all the shoes I got from there. Now let's go to... Okay, so I found a new place to thrift, sort of. Um, where I go to my savers in Connecticut, there's also now a Plato's Closet, which is kind of like a buy-sell thrift store. You can bring in clothes that you want to donate. You're not really donating them. You bring clothes, shoes, purses there, and they buy them from you. Um, you know, whatever they want to buy. Not It's not everything, and it's not really for a high dollar amount, but it's better than getting nothing, you know, instead of just donating, you actually get some money back and it's cash or you can shop the store and use it as credit. So I brought a bunch of old stuff there that I was actually going to give to thread up, but they're no longer taking 
you know, the clean out bags right now. So I had so much stuff. So I brought it to Plato's Closet. They took the majority of what I brought and gave me $56. So I got all this stuff. I got a lot of stuff for me too. So basically I spent nothing on these shoes. Um, I got a couple shirts for me um, and a purse and two purses and all these shoes and I only had to pay five dollars over my spending so I guess you can say these were free um, so I will show you and plus they had a clearance their clearance was 70% off um, awesome so I got these these are where I shopped the shoes they were 70% off so let's show you them these are by American rag and they are calf hair um, they are brand new they are a size nine and a half little loafer so cute so they were $14 70% off of that so I know this brand is sold at Macy's I don't know if it's sold anywhere else but it's pretty expensive so I would probably ask around 40 for these and I would do 30 for uh, we'll do 25 for you guys nine and a half those were then I got these which they need to be wiped down a little bit so use some imagination here they're in pretty good condition overall I just got to wipe down like the white and stuff on the soles but these are really cute little sneakers they are real suede it's like a beige and then this is leather uh, snake print they are by Tahari you can't really see the name in there but I was able to figure it out and they are a size where did I see the size all right they have they have it on the sticker oh yeah they are a size seven and a half okay size seven and a half super cute they're pretty clean I just got to wipe them down so they were twelve dollars seventy percent off so really cool um, I would probably ask around 30 to 35 for these and we'll do 20 bucks for you guys I'll try to price these ones a little lower since I I guess like you can say I technically didn't pay for them all right so these are Dolce Vita I do like picking up Dolce Vita I think that they are a really well-made brand um, and they have really cute style really cute styles this is a tan suede booty with the black heel. Pretty nice condition. They are a size uh, Where is the size? I don't know their sticker says they're an eight and a half so they had to see it somewhere but we'll go with that eight and a half and these were originally $18 70% off of that so they I would probably list them for about 30 and we'll do 20 bucks for you guys running out of places to put things all right, I think that's all the ones that I got there. And now let's move to, where did I get these? I think I only got one pair from Savers the last time I went, but these are really cute. Look at these, these are Sperry. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, but I think they are super de duper cute. And they have the red lining so stinking cute these are a size seven and a half they i could fit in these but i would just have nothing to wear with them my problem is a lot of actually most of my tops are print so i need solid shoes because like you know i know people print like mixed print and stuff i don't know how to do that so i stick with the solid color shoes but these are really cute they're in good shape just need a clean up 
and they were $6.99. And I get 20% off every time I go to Savers, so 20% off, $6.99, there you go. Um, I would list these around 35, I would say, maybe 40, depending on comps. And let's do 20, let's just do 25. All right, these next ones I got from a Goodwill that I've never been to before. Um, so I have mentioned before that I have a friend that helps me shop for basically everything that I resell. We have a little business deal and she, I pick up a lot of things from her in New Jersey. So I found a Goodwill that's like, I guess it's halfway in between me and her. So um, it's a small Goodwill, but I found a lot of good things in there. And the majority of the good things were shoes, and I'm going to show you. So these weren't really a wow factor, but I did pick them up because they're new, and these are like a really comfortable, like orthopedic style shoe. Um, Earth Origins, brown leather, new and ten dollars so i would list these around 40. they are a size 10 and i would do 30 for you guys all right you ready for the good ones i found two pairs of birkenstocks okay and then a pair of crocs that you're not going to believe this when i tell you so hang in there. So here's the first pair. These are a little rough around the straps, but the um, shoe itself is really nice. See, there's not really much toe you know, marks, but there is a little bit of wear, like right here on the inside of the leather. It's a raw leather, so it's going to look like that, but... Um, but, and these aren't the Birkenstock, you know, Birkenstock, Birkenstock, these are like a sister company. The, <laughs> my broken nail. These are that Bet Betula by Birkenstock. Okay, so these are size seven. Really cute. As you saw, I paid $10. Let's see how there's like, it's a little, a little rough around the edges, but they will still bring probably you know what, I'm gonna also put a price on the screen for these as well, so I can research them and give a proper price, because uh, I've not done that yet. Uh, a lot of these shoes has, have been sitting here waiting for a video, I probably should have done some research on it, but you know, I'm a busy girl. Okay, so I'll put some information on the screen for those. Then my next pair of Birkenstocks, you should have seen me in the shoe aisle when I was finding all, all these shoes, like at, I first, first I found the Birkenstock, the first pair. Then I was like, oh my God, there's a second pair. And then I found the, the Crocs. I'm like, oh my God. I was, you know, like, sorry for saying <laughs> OMG, but I was like so excited. So I think I found my new little honey hole. So these are the original Birkenstocks, but look, like, look at how new. And I don't think they're new because they have toe marks, but I don't think that they were worn very often. I don't know how there's toe marks because I don't see any signs of wear. I mean, look. So unless they wore them in the house, I don't get it. But these are bigger size. These are an 11 or a men's nine. So it's, it's and it's like a brown. It's brown patent leather, size 11 really nice condition. So again, I'll put the price on the screen for you guys. And then you guys are going to just fall over when I tell you about these Crocs. I, I wonder, I'll probably have to insert something on the screen because I don't think I could show you on my phone. It gets a really bad glare, but okay. So check it out. I know you're going to laugh at me but I've talked about Crocs before. People love them. So I buy them and I sell them to them. <laughs> so these are Croc high heels, okay? Okay, it's fine, you can laugh. I, Cause I did too. 
until I found out how much they can sold for. So 10 bucks, they are a size nine. These are going on eBay. Um, I'm not selling them in this video. Um, and when I pop up the pictures, you'll see why. So I hope that I'll be able to show them to you from my solds. Um, I think I sold one recently because I think after 90 days you can't look at your solds anymore, which is stupid. Um, so I will put some of those pictures here. Hopefully I can get it to work and you'll see my sold, okay? Sold or solds, however many I can pull up. I've sold two of these. I think the first pair sold too long ago, but um, okay, so you'll see why. Keep a lookout for these in the stores. All right, so that ends this bag. Now I'm going to go through what I bought today. So, oh, I have my other stuff in here. This is for my booth. Let me put that over here. A little soap dish. I got this too, but if anybody's interested in this, um, jean jackets do pretty well in my booth. They don't have to be, um, like, vintage per se, but... A little older helps. This is a really cute pockets, really cute denim jacket. It's by Coldwater Creek and it's a size 16. So if anybody is interested in this, I would do um, I would do 20 bucks. I'm probably gonna put it in my booth for like 35. So let me know if anyone's interested. If you need measurements, I can do that for you as well. All right, so I got these today. Um, my local, this is from my local Goodwill. Did I say that? I think I did. My local Goodwill gets new, a lot of new shoes, which is weird and cool. I'm not gonna complain about it, but I think it is a little strange. But anywho, this is a pair of new shoes. These are Cole Haan. They are calf hair and black leather. Cole Haan, brand new, 10 bucks, size seven. Super cute black heel, I love these. If I was to, oh, well, they're not my size, but if I was still working at the office, I, this is the kind of stuff I would wear. Um, anywho, uh, I would list these around 40 and do 30 for you guys. Then I found these, so I've been eyeing these for a while. Um, I never make it to Goodwill on our dollar days. Um, I don't know if your guys, you guys have Goodwills that do dollar days, um, but I never remember, honestly. And it's Tuesdays, and the color of the week on Tuesdays is a dollar, but, which I didn't know, they change what items qualifies for the dollar. Does that make sense? Like, this week on Tuesday is green, but only sweaters, pajamas, tops was it tops I don't know it was like four things and it didn't include hard goods or shoes and I'm and I'm thinking but is it always like that and I'm like I don't I don't remember I thought it was everything so whatever e even if you got the green it's it's not gonna be a dollar it'll be 40% off so that's what happened with these I know long back backstory but I've been eyeing these because they're bear traps and they're all, that's an all right brand. Um, they're in good condition. I mean, I can get probably 35 out of them. They're cute. They're in good shape. Um, what size are they? They are a, why do they gotta make this so difficult? <laughs> they're an eight. That's my size. I can do seven and a half or eight. So, um, really cute. I don't know if they're real leather. Man-made materials. But I like the little crisscross right here. Super cute, size eight. So I was hoping that these were gonna be a dollar, but then when I saw the sign, shoes were not included. So they were 40% off 9.99, which is still fine. 
Like I said, I would ask 35 and I would do, let's do, let's do 25, that's fine for you guys. And I've actually been doing really well selling Keds. I didn't think it was like a popular shoe brand, but every pair of Keds I've been buying, they've been selling. And I've only been buying them because they're either new, like this pair, or they're some cool print that when I comp them, they're doing really well. Or like a collab, there's a lot of Keds collabs that they're doing. So anywho, I got these because they're brand new. So they were $10, they're like a um, gray wool and beige, really cute, uh, size eight and a half. So I'd probably ask online 35, 30 to 35 and 25 for you guys. And that's it from today's haul. Okay, so now let's get into the 15 pair shoe thread up rescue box. And I'll tell you how long I've had this sitting here. This is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. The problem is when I do shoe hauls like this, you know, all these shoes were put away in bags like you saw or this box, but now that I've done the haul, now I have to list them all. So I have to spend, I have to make sure I have the time either today, tomorrow, you know, the next couple of days where I can just buckle down and get all these listed. So, or maybe you guys will buy most of them so I won't have to list them. <laughs> okay, October 22nd, you guys, I am slacking. October 22nd, this has been sitting here, but it's worth it, 70 bucks for 15 pairs of shoes. I mean, you guys, that's cheaper than my thrift stores, so check that out and thread up and those shoe boxes are always available always you don't have to wait for them to release and check the website 800 times a day <laughs> okay all right let's look at this cool pair that's sitting right at the top get out right off the bat look at that tell me these are my size and i'm just gonna pass out These are a six? These look huge. Are you sure it doesn't say eight? <laughs> oh, I can't see. No, it's a six. Those look like they would fit me. I'm like Cinderella. No, I can't even get my foot in the top. These are so cute, you guys. Okay, so they got a nice, um, you know, so you're not going to slip and bust your ass. It's, they do have a heel drag, which, you know, that means the person did not know how to pick up their feet. They literally drag their heels. I hate that. Um, but other than that, they look, they look really good they just need a cleaning always check the heels make sure the heel is not popping out and everything all right these are cool these are so cute size six that's definitely a four inch heel though should we pose for a thumbnail with my missing nail <laughs> okay that's good enough <laughs> So um, I'd have to do some research on these. So let me put a price up on the screen for you guys and I'll let you know. Let's put these over there so I don't forget to look them up. Okay, cool. Converse is another great pair to resell. If you can find them at a, at a cheap, decent price, under 10 bucks, grab them. Oh, I don't, what is that? that those aren't laces. Those look weird. All right, well, let's not look at that. Let's look at the fact that these are in really good condition. Look at that. But they're super dirty. So this person probably wore them once and was like, no thanks, which is fine. 
I can clean them. Tubbo towels has been a lifesaver. You can find them on Amazon. They come in like a wipe. It's a wipe that comes in like a, a barrel, barrel, container, cylinder. I don't know. Uh, Tubbo towels. I'll leave a link in my description box. They're, I think they're better than Magic Eraser because Magic Eraser tends to take the color off of things. These wipes do not. All right, well, let's get back to the shoes. These are size 10 or men's eight. I'll take them. I just have to buy some white um, shoelaces, which will probably be a couple bucks. That's fine. Oh, I just forgot I was supposed to get night lights at the dollar store when I went to the post office. Well, now I can add shoelaces to the list. Um, I would probably list these around 35 to 40, and I would do 25 for you guys. I'm running out of space up on the couch. Oh, I peeked. Look, you can see it. You guys know what that is, right? All right, let's skip right to those. Ah! <laughs> All right, so these are Rothy's. I've only got... I've gotten these one other time and a men's one other time, and they both sold within hours. Um, and I've gotten them only in thread up boxes. And these, if you guys are unfamiliar with the brand, they sell for really good money. Sorry, they resell for really good money, like 80 to a hundred dollars. And these are, I mean, these are like new condition. Look at this. The only issue Rothy's has is that their sizing is crazy. Um, they're usually like two sizes off. So I try them on myself and I kind of gauge, you know, the size that way. And I'll put, let me see, what size are these? I'll, I'll tell you what I do. Also pick them up. And if Rothy's has that, they're genuine because there are fakers out there. All right, so these are nine and a half. So... I'm an eight and I think they fit me perfectly. So, all right, maybe they're a little big. Maybe I would say that they're a nine. So like in the listing, I would put that they're a nine. Um, so people looking for a size nine are gonna find these. You don't wanna put size nine and a half and then your listing say it fits like a nine or an eight or whatever. Cause then they're gonna be like, well, they're too small. They're not gonna fit me. So don't do that. Put what the shoe feels like. So I'm gonna say it feels like an eight and a half. And then, well, that's what I'm gonna say in the title. It's an eight and a half, but then in the description, I'm gonna say it's a nine and a half, but because their, sh their sizing is weird, you know, if it fits like an eight and a half, but it's a nine and a half. So, that's just my experience with them, and I've sold the two pairs that I've found, and I've had no complaints or returns. So I will put information on the screen about these, pricing information, super cool, so excited. Two pairs out of the box are bangers. All right, let's go back to the ones I pulled out before. These look huge. What size are you? What size are you? 11, yeah. So they look, they're brand new. However, I wonder if I can just glue that. Yeah, they're brand new. That's a pretty serious heel. Um, and the other one, this one's not like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully take my E6000 glue and pop a little bit with a toothpick in there and hold it down while it dries and we should be good to go because they're brand new. Size 11, I would ask maybe 30 bucks online. Oh, sorry. They're nine West. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and I would do 20 bucks for you guys. All right, is this the same shoe? Yeah. All right, these might have to get donated. These are BCBG, which is not a bad brand, but it's the glitter is all 
weird and there's a lot of black marks so um yeah there's a big cut in the heel so we are going to pass on these um they are size eight but if anyone's interested five bucks so those are pass oh these are cool These are Puma. These are interesting. If they, I don't really like this ankle thing. If it didn't have it, I would want these for myself. What's Okay, they're Fenty. So they're Rihanna and Puma. Where is the size? Okay, the sirens never fails. You guys, this is like really hard. Okay, there's a tag. Size six? Hold on, I need to look at these like with a, a flashlight. Oh no, that's the UK. <laughs> They're an eight and a half. Okay, that makes more sense. Eight and a half, really cool. They're, they look like they're in good shape. They just need to be cleaned up. So Puma and Rihanna, Fenty, uh, ankle straps, <laughs> sneakers. Um, no idea on a price, so I will put that information on the screen for you and I'll put those over there. I'm gonna have a lot of research to do after this video. Let's look at these. Peter Millar. So I have a feeling that these are a pretty good brand. I, I feel like I've heard of that brand before. So they're a really cute little boat shoe. They were at, maybe not because Marshall's had them for only $24.99, so scratch that. Um, really cute little patent leather boat shoe and it's got a cute little pattern on it. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But otherwise, they're in good shape. Um, they're a size seven, made in Brazil. Peter Millar. Um, uh, since they have a $24 price tag, I could probably only sell them for about 20, and we would do 15 for you guys. Antonio Melini, Melani, Antonio Melani is an all right brand. Not really anything I would go, you know, searching out for. Um, these are a size, uh, six and a half. See, that sucks because that is so dirty. I don't know if I'll be able to clean that off. Yeah, I might have to pass on these because the leather under here is all messed up. So these will pass on. We have a cute pair of Cole Haan. These are little flats. Um, they are suede, black suede and leather. Black, I said that right, pointed toe. They're actually in pretty good condition. I just need to wipe them down. Um, the city is snow, snow blowing the sidewalk, which I've never seen them do before. Usually that's everybody's responsibility, like you were supposed to shovel in front of your own house. Anyway, um, size six, really cute. I would ask 25 maybe online and we'll do 15 for you guys. These are Bandolino, which is a decent brand. They make 
you know, their stuff is leather, so it's not horrible. They are like a beige, I would say they're like a beigey pink leather strappy heel sandal. They're new. Brand new. Right? Yeah. Um, cute. Definitely cute. Little ankle strap at the top here. Size 9, okay. I would ask probably 30 bucks online and we'll do 20 for you guys. Those are cute. These are Diba. Oh, they are suede, okay. Diba. Don't really know much about that brand, but they look to be in good shape. Little perforated, real suede. Um, sandals with a peep toe and an open heel. They are used, but they're in pretty nice shape. They are a size eight. Cute, these are cute. Okay, so depending on comps, 25 to 30 bucks, and I would do 20 for you guys. Okay, these are loft. Um, they're kind of like a denim material. They're super stiff, like, like look at them. They're all misshapen and, yeah, we're gonna skip on these two because they're very discolored and just kind of skeevy, so we're gonna skip on those. And usually I wouldn't skip on so many, but since I got the Tory Burch and the Rothies, those, t just the one, wait, how much did I pay for this box? 70 bucks, just the one I'll make my money back on. So I could be a little bit more particular with what, or a little bit more easygoing with what I, I toss to the, the wolves. <laughs> oh, I've never gotten men's, oh yeah, I have gotten men's shoes, but I've never gotten men's dress shoes and these are freaking huge. These are so big. Allen Edmonds, I've never heard of them, but they're leather, they're that, you know, fancy tassel loafer loafer they are a size they're a size 13 yes you got you definitely are a size 13 made in usa they seem to be nice seem to be geez now the plow's going through they seem to be in good condition so i'll put some information on the screen for you on these as well Another pair of men's shoes. We these are look these look really big too. Some Adidas. I love how the other side of the world says that so much better than Adidas. So <laughs> we have some Adidas. These look these look new. These look new. These are kind of like a uh, sneaker with well I guess they're a sneaker with the suede here really cute I used to wear a pair similar to these they had the tortoise shell front back in like the 90s okay they are an 11 and a half which isn't that big that's actually a perfect size it actually says they're uh, male oh no they're male okay uh, male size 11 and a half I thought it said male female so again, I'll put some information on the screen about these as well because I do not really know men's shoes too well. All right, last pair. A pair of Toms, okay. Toms, I never thought was um, like a high, not a high end, but like a good resale value shoe. They can, they do pretty well. So don't, don't exclude the Toms. If you can get them cheap, grab them. Um, these are Tom's little open toe and open heel heel. <laughs> they are real suede. 
Oh, I thought they gave me two of the same foot for a second, which has happened before. Um, these are a size nine. Really cute. They're in really good condition. All right, so I would ask probably 30. Yeah, about 30 on these and we'll do 20, 20 bucks. We'll do 20 bucks for you guys. So we're at a little over uh, 45 minutes and I am done. Now I have a lot of work to do. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, please feel free to email me and take some of these off my hands so I don't have to list. <laughs> I don't like listing. But I also don't like having a death pile or a money pile because that's money just sitting there. That's, if it's not listed, it's not making you money. So remember that. All right, so that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. Thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next one.